Welcome to the Snowy Ridge National Forest. My name is Ranger Ray and I'm a forest ranger here. I love leading hikes through the wintry woods, climbing up tall mountain peaks, and sledding down snowy slopes. And everywhere I go, I always find the coolest animals, like Felix the Fox, who we met last week. Whew. Speaking of cool, I'm feeling a bit chilly out here. So let's make sure we all have on our winter gear. First, we need our gloves so our fingers won't get too frosty. Everybody, hold up your hands like this and slide your gloves on. Next, let's put on our jackets so we don't turn into icicles. Put one arm in, then the other. Then we'll zip that up. Make sure you don't get your hair caught. All right. And let's not forget to put on our scarves. Remember to gently wrap it around your neck. There. Now that you look all warm and cozy, we need some fresh snow here at Snowy Ridge. Do you remember the snow dance we did last week? Let's see if we can make it snow again. Stand up and let's do the snow dance together. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Here we go, 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 it's gonna snow, snow, snow. Pat your hat. Clap your mittens. And so much fun. Do you remember one of my favorite things about being a forest ranger? It's getting to show boys and girls just like you how to be junior rangers. And Snowy Ridge could sure use some fine young rangers like all of you. So, to be a junior ranger, all you have to do is hold up one hand and repeat after me. Ready? Okay. I can. Be kind, I can be safe, and I can grow with God every day. Congratulations! You are now a junior ranger at Snowy Ridge. Remember, rangers need to be kind by listening to others, using kind words, and rangers, please be sure to stay in your spot on the trails so that you'll be safe. And most of all, we want all of you rangers to grow in your friendship with God every day. Well, now that you said the ranger pledge, it's time to start exploring and having fun in the snow. And look, it looks like somebody built a snowman. And look, there's Benny the Bunny standing right next to it. Friends, let's all wave and say hello to my friend Benny the Bunny. Hey, Benny. Oh, hi, Ranger Ray. Isn't playing in the snow so much fun? I came out here to read a Bible story and grow my friendship with God. Would you guys like to read it with me? Yes! I was hoping you would say that. Everyone snuggle up in your spot and get quiet with me. One, two, three, get quiet as can be. Now we're ready to read a story from God's Word. Do you Junior Rangers know what God's Word is? Whisper it to me. The Bible! That's right! Get ready to hear a story from the Bible by quietly clicking on your listening ears. Click, click. And don't forget to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop, zoop. zoop. 
That's it! Mary and Joseph were engaged and would soon be married. But before they were married, God sent an angel to Mary to tell her some good news. The angel told her that she was going to have a baby, and this baby would be God's very own son. God also sent an angel to tell Joseph the good news in a dream. The angel told Joseph not to be afraid to get married to Mary because she was going to have a baby that would be the savior God had promised to send. The angel also told Joseph to name the baby Jesus. Let me hear you say Jesus. Jesus! That's it. When Joseph heard God's good news, he trusted that God had a good plan for him and his family. So when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him, and he took Mary home to be his wife. Joseph's friendship with God grew when he heard God's good news about Jesus. And this good news is for us, too. The good news is that God sent Jesus to be our Savior. Junior Rangers, when we open up our hearts and think about what we've read in the Bible today, here's what God wants us to know. Repeat it after me. I hear... I hear God's God's good news. Good news. You've got it, Rangers. When I get quiet and spend time with God, I like to finish with a little worship song to tell God how good he is. Will you sing it with me? Yeah! It goes like this. God, you're so good. God, You're so good, God, you're so good, you're so good to me. Sing it again with me. God, you're so good, God, you're so good, God, you're so good, you're so good to me. Me. Goodbye, Rangers. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Benny. I'm so glad that we got to have quiet time with Benny the Bunny. Now we know that our friendship grows with God when we hear the good news that God sent Jesus to be our Savior. So, let me hear you say this after me. I can hear God's good news. Great job, Junior Rangers. I guess it's time we should be headed back to the ranger station. Since there's so much snow, let's hop on a sled and have a snowtastic ride back, just like we did last week. Can you try to catch some snowflakes on our way? All right, everybody hold on to your sled and let's ride on the count of three. One, two, three. Whee! Lean this way. Catch the snowflake! Catch the snowflake! Lean that way! Catch the snowflake! Lean this way! Catch the snowflake! Did you catch any snowflakes? I caught a few. Count them with me. That's one snowflake. That's two. That one is three. And four. We collected four snowflakes. And each one has a question for us. Snowflake number one says that God sent an angel to tell Mary good news or bad news. If you have your thumbs up, you're correct. Good news. God sent an angel to tell Mary the good news that she was going to have a baby. And this baby would be the savior that God had promised to send. All right, let's see what the next snowflake has to say. Did Joseph listen or snore? When an angel told him God's good news. Right again. Joseph listened to the angel and heard it tell the good news that Mary was going to have a special baby. Just 
Two more snowflakes to go. Let's see what the next one says. Snowflake number three asks, did God tell Joseph to name the baby Joe or Jesus? Jesus, you got it. God told Joseph to name the baby Jesus. Jesus would be God's son and the savior that he had promised to send. All right, let's see what our last snowflake says. This one says that God wants you and me to hear God's good news about Jesus too. So everybody stand up and say this after me. I can hear God's good news. Wonderful. Stay standing and let's sing about God's good news together now. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world. And now we can call him friend Jesus Savior Jesus Savior We will tell everyone Jesus Savior Jesus Savior He's the Savior of the world In his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus, savior, Jesus. Savior. I'm so glad that all of you have joined me here in Snowy Ridge National Forest. Wherever you go, remember what Benny the Bunny taught us. And repeat this after me one more time. I can hear God's good news. When we hear God's good news, our friendship with him grows, just like the trees that grow here in the forest. I hope to see you back here soon. So long, Junior Rangers. <laughs>